Greetings everyone. We have a lot to show you in this video. Jaw-dropping footage of many weather-related horrific events. We will be sure to give all props to all sources for providing us with this valuable video footage. And all footage is being used for news reporting, criticism, comment, and research. We made sure we contributed to the information flow of the Oklahoma tornadoes. As we heard of new developments, we were posting on our Twitter and also on our community page. We did this for a full seven hours and assisted with getting new information out to the public as it was announced and also posted a tornado shelter map with tornado shelters for several states. Be sure to subscribe to our Twitter, our YouTube channel, and our YouTube community page. Special thanks goes out to Max Velocity's YouTube channel for his selfless commitment to reporting live tornado touchdowns information where we were able to post tornado touchdowns and warnings as they were announced. Last but not least, our prayers and condolences goes out to everyone who has experienced a horrific weather event. And may our prayers lift burdens off of your shoulders. Let's do this. everyone we're going to start off with Elkhorn Nebraska this is one of those places that got hit extremely hard uh, I just want everyone to realize that we really need to start working as communities before something like this happens but we're going to look go across the globe and periodically I'll make comments throughout this Now, Dubai was hit extremely hard, extremely hard. I mean, I've never seen camels in a flood before. Our sand so thick inside of a car that it actually rolls inside of the car because that's where the water was at at one time. But th they went through quite a bit over there. This is like this is what I mean by mud flood. I feel like a mud flood is actually are, there. We go are already happening. You take just watch. While I was listening to Max Velocity, uh, you know, while this all was going on, it was on his channel that, I mean, I actually heard that this was already, had already taken place, it was destroyed. Sulphur, downtown Oklahoma was just completely destroyed. And we even posted where the police officers actually saying this over the radio. You know, there was just so many, everybody was really trying to pitch in and get the information out about Oklahoma. There was like five tornadoes going on at one time. And Max made sure that he let us know where they were. And as he was talking, I was typing and posting in Twitter. So like I said, I, I owe so much to that fella because I would not have known how, how much, what was all going on unless I had listened to him. And it did help because one of the posts that I did, I showed that a warehouse was destroyed. And this lady actually said, actually responded and said, that was my husband's job. And I'm like, oh my God. So we really, everybody collectively was trying to help and get the word out. And Max said, I think he said he put like over 12 hours, over a 12 hour day, because he had a final or something that same, same day. Check this out though, this is Saudi. I've never seen anything like this before. It's like it's all in quicksand. And then Elkhorn again, I mean, it was just so devastated there. There's a lot of footage and photos of Elkhorn. Very large. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, my mind is just going. It's just I'm just a bomb. Um, I mean, China. Is
everyone, if you really take a good look at some of these clips, it's like we're actually having an actual mud flood right now, and we're here alive watching it happen. Uh, the previous video that I did, it actually showed that we have so many places that are flooding, and now with the storms that we just had, we have even more flooding going on. But I want to continue on and show you more of what's been happening in the states and around the world. I mean, we have a lot going on in the states, but we need to also look at the big picture of things. There's a lot of weather catastrophes happening all over the planet, and we just need to be aware of what's going on with our home. Let's continue. Okay, now people might really trip out on what I'm about to say now. Some of you may say, what the world? Well, there are some business opportunities that have opened up to some people in Saudi because they're flooding so much. At first I wasn't gonna post this, but I just wanna show you, sometimes when you think out of the box, sometimes you just don't know where you might end up landing. <laughs> Check this out. Yes, you see it guys. People are paying $100 for someone to let them stand on a dolly and get pushed across the street so they won't get wet. A hundred dollars a pop. So yeah, this is a new business opportunity. I think we should get together and open up some franchises and, you know, just totally populate that place and make some dough. <laughs> just want to show you, this is really happening out there, guys. This is really happening. So this is a business opportunity in, in Dubai.
car is trash. Is it? Yeah. Is what about Maria's? Yeah. Or Elisa? Pay special attention if you see cracks in the road that look like this. It's where they're actually sealing them with a sealant. They are not fixing the cracks. They're just filling them in with some, like a silicone. I saw it done right in front of my home where they actually had a truck in front, somebody with a hose, filling up the thing, and then a guy came behind them and had a scraper that was flattening it out. So really pay attention to this, guys, because I'm starting to see this everywhere. And I, I knew exactly what it was when I saw it. There's a problem with these kind of cracks happening in the road, guys. This isn't just happening for no reason. <laughs> Woo! As we mentioned before, make sure you're mindful of your surroundings and what's going on. Make sure you stay abreast on the weather. Right now is a good time to have a disaster app or either a weather app on your phones and periodically check it. Make sure before you leave in the mornings that you check AccuWeather or somewhere and see whether or not, you know, what kind of day they say it's going to be. And check it periodically, okay, especially if you're in those troubled areas that recently had these tornadoes and these storms. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much for sticking for the whole video. And once again, just make sure you uh, at least subscribe to our Twitter because we will report on there in case there's an emergency, especially if we're close to the computer. Take care of yourself, guys. Ciao.